Hey YouTube and my subscribers, JC18904 here with a new video for you guys today. I got a couple updates on my Traxxas Flash Ford F-150 Raptor SVT and one update on our Nitro Rustler 2.5R. Now, on my Traxxas Slash, I got new wheels and tires. Now, thanks to our best friend Jason for those. I really like these tires a lot. And on my stock set, when you guys last seen my front wheels, they look brand new and they still look that way. Now what I'm going to do with the old set is my rear tires were almost bald when you guys last seen them. So what I'm going to do is the rubber on the wheel, or the tire, it's probably about as thick as that piece of cardboard. Now I'm going to put... Um, homemade studs in it by using thumbtacks. Now the thumbtacks I'm going to use are kind of short but they are going to be really really sweet in them tires. These are probably about medium size and I'm going to glue them in the rear set and as you guys can see that's what they look like. They got a little bit of a blue point, and they're kind of sharp, just not too sharp, just sharp enough for it to go through anything we're going to put it through. But after I glue them in, I'm going to run a V pattern around on the tire on the old rear set. So there'll be like one thumbtack sticking out of the center, then one sticking out like up in here somewhere on each side sticking out of the tread part and it's going to be like digging through about anything I put it through so it's going to be pretty sweet I can rock crawl with my slash on some terrain so that's going to be pretty sweet to see I can also do it with the new tires I got on there I can only get so far though because my old side I could do it pretty good because these were like a little bit more meatier because they're kind of real real soft so but I want to use them for that I'm also going to use them for wet running conditions now they do really awesome the new tires I got they are really wicked in the mud also now to get to the, my new set I got the Proline bow ties from our best friend Jason and let me tell you if you guys want tires that are guaranteed to not like make you slide around on a dry dirt track that's kind of hard packing or if it's kind of just barely wet these tires here are great racing tires because I use them on a racetrack down and back and it almost acts like a four wheel drive the way it just digs. So I decided between these uh put on bow ties because the calibers, if you guys want to drift, that's the tires to do it with and the dirt. But they look the bow ties look just like the one fifth scale tires. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they're really wicked as you can see but they look just like the one fifth scale but just a lot more tread now I got these wheels with it they're the old Traxxas Fabtech two wheel drive wheels and as you can see they're all chrome now you guys can see these little like studs on the wheels now I customized the wheels to look like this. These are um, like almost like a beadlock wheel that you see on like real heavy duty off road trucks. So I went with like that style look. I left the like indentations in the wheels silver so it looks like a lug pattern. But after getting all the chrome off, it looks like that. Then after you fully customize them, they look like that. So it looks pretty sweet. That's blue anodized with metal flake. 
silver as a base coat. That's what you had to do with anodized paint. You had to lay down a metal flake silver base coat. But it's this brand, anodized, duper color, metal cast. You can probably pick this up at your local AutoZone. But it's really great paint if you guys want to do like customizing on your wheels because it stands out. It matches my Raptor body as you can see very well. But it looks mean now with these um, wheels customized. But I'll have a video of how to do that later on. I got a video coming up because I had to replace an A-arm. So I've done a how-to on that. It's a front left stock A-arm. I've done a replacement on because I accidentally uh, hit my dad's truck tire on his pickup truck. So I looked at it and it didn't look cracked or broke. So I went ahead and just ran it. And I just barely tapped the telephone pole. And I noticed the front wheel started look like it was coming off. So it wasn't coming off. It broke down in here on this back part on the A on where the screw sticks out so it broke there I replaced it and it acts just good as new I got the A arm from our best friend Jason thanks to him for those also now as you can see I still got my Venom shocks on here to tell you guys about the ground clamps I got I got probably about I say let me get a tape measure here. With these shocks, I got two and a half inches of ground clamps in the center on the front and in the back. So I can flip this around to show you guys. I got four inches in the center. With it sitting up all the way, it's right at the three inch mark in the back. So that's with if I put a little bit more tension on them rear shocks, it'll sit up three inches high. And that's pretty high. My wheels and tires, if these uh, tires weren't on there, that rim would fit right underneath of there, which is pretty sweet. But two and a half in the front, and three in the back which does really awesome at rock crawling when I got them adjusted right now my steering servo is the original one in this truck the 2075 and let me tell you after you do a linium upgrade to the steering on this truck the steering is just a little bit faster so I'll let you guys see this I don't know if I could do it with one hand but it's real quick. Real quick, I mean, it's just like right on demand. So, it does really awesome with the this brand hub carrier and TGNC. But, you get them brand. I got the 09 series. And they do really awesome. It steers really sharp. I mean, you can put your finger between the tire and the A-arm, and you can't get your finger in there. So it's really, really more sharp steering. The old hub carriers that were on it, the steering you could get your finger between the A-arm and the tire. And compared to aluminum upgrade, because the arms are shorter down in here, and it gives it a lot more sharper steering. My rear, they set out just a tad bit. Now the wheels and tires are on this truck. They will sling the mud out of past the body. As you can see, there's mud all over the side right there. There's mud like up in here. But it will sling the mud pretty good. Now, I believe that's it on my tracks of Slash. I got a new fuel. Well, my dad did. 
It's the Byron Race Fuel Gen 2 Race 2000, 200% nitromethane, 12% lubrication. This feels like an orangish color, as you guys can see. You guys may say pink, but it looks orange to me. It says that it's computerized blending accuracy, raw material, pressurized nitrogen blanking. Now, it says also high velocity, closed loop, raw materials, integration. Now, also, it says that it's better than the leading brands on power, acceleration, and operating temperatures. Now, also, it says that it helps protect your motor against wear and tear. Now, it says only pure virgin methanol and 99.9% .9 pure nitromethane are blended blended into Byron Originals. It says whether your passion is on-road or off-road competitions or just plain fun, Byron Gen 2 race fuels is blended for your special RC needs. And it does really great, the original, but we can't wait to try this new stuff out. The old stuff is like a yellow collar, as you guys can see. That's the old stuff, and it's kind of weak, but it's made in the USA. As you can see, they put a sticker on there. But it's a one gallon. You could probably pick it up for maybe about, I don't know, almost 40 bucks. Once you guys buy pints, you guys want to might as well spend money on getting a gallon. So... I recommend gallons over pints because you can get more running time out of a gallon. So, just remember to try and find this at your local hobby store. If you don't have it, you can go online and type in just Byron Race Fuel. But, it's Gen 2 Race 2000. And, right there's everything you guys need to know on that. But, that's it for now. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned. I got more videos coming up of my Slash, my dad's Slash, and our Nitro Rustler, and Jason's awesome King Motors 1-5 scale ball haul buggy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.